Hey, what's up guys? Good evening. Good evening and welcome along. Welcome to another Hem stream. We're back in the uh, the mighty Augusta 139, the Italian Stallion, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the um, London City Heliport in the AW139. We've got the custom Scottish Air Ambulance skin. We're down here helping our colleagues out in London. We are on the Vatsim network. Look, looks like there's quite a bit of ATC kicking around, so should be a good service today, guys. I've just realised that I low key have forgotten something. I might. I just need. Sorry, guys. Very unprofessional of me. I just need to snip away for just two minutes. I'll be right back. Sorry. Sorry guys, I'm fucking bulking up and I gotta take it. it's 8 o'clock, I gotta take a goddamn protein shake. Fucking It's my whole life now guys. Eating chicken, broccoli and rice and fucking protein shakes. God damn it. I hope everyone's well. Welcome along guys. Thanks to Kruberax for the uh, raid on um Twitch. Hello to Wreck the Red, one of my sponsors on YouTube. Good to see you, brother. Welcome along, my friend. Cutlass is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you, sir. I hope you're well. The wind beneath my wings. Cutlass, the guy that actually made the skin. Thank you so much for your support, brother. Hello to um, Murray on uh, YouTube. Gunny. Um, Avnish is in the house. Varun. Mr. Parsnips is in here. Grandad's in here. Another YouTube sponsor has joined us. Welcome on board, Grandad. Great to see you as always, sir. My uh, friend Stephen Boyd's with us. Lee Russell's in the house. Good to see you, Lee. You fucking buster. Welcome. Captain Danny Boy's in here. Good to see you, Danny. Welcome to Michael. Uh, thank you very much. Hello from Belfast. God damn it. Get the fucking parrot in here. For fuck's sake, bro. There's fucking parrots on every stream now. God damn it. Hello to you, Michael. Welcome along, my friend. Say hello to the parrot. Get him out of here. He's a fucking buster. Welcome along, sir. Good to see you. No, no more requests from you, Lee. That's it. Fucking it's done, bro. Hello to Hayden. Welcome on board, sir. Um, hello to Nick. Uh, Salt Grayer and Aaron. Uh, Joel's in the house as well, as well as Quan. I'm trying to keep up, guys. What's up? Hey, Drippy, welcome along. Right. We are responding to an alpha call, guys. Somewhere just south of London, Gatwick. My back. A cyclist has been seriously injured after being hit by a heavy goods vehicle and sustaining serious head injuries. The paramedics on scene have requested an air ambulance to get the young man to hospital as quickly as possible. The casualty is stable and currently being sedated in preparation to fly. The trauma team are aware of the incident and are awaiting our arrival to start work on saving the patient's life. Roger that. I've just interviewed a real world Augusta 139 pilot. He actually flies the 109 at the moment but he, is, he does have a 139 rating so I've spent the past hour and a half with a a guy that flies um, this helicopter in real life, well he doesn't fly this one anymore, but he, he's a, a HEMS pilot, he is a, an air ambulance pilot in the United Kingdom who is type rated on this very aircraft in real life, so I just spent the past hour and a half interviewing that guy and taking loads of notes, I got five pages of notes worth on the aircraft and how they operate it in real life and some things that I need to be um, paying more attention to and stuff like that, so I'm going to start trying to incorporate more, more, more realism into the stream when we're operating this aircraft. Um, hello to another Charlie. <laughs> um, hello to Tygo. It's not a new headset, Charlie, no. Um, hello to X-Men. Welcome. Welcome on board. The, the bird warms your soul, Rick. I hear you, big dog. I hear you loud and clear. Right, well, um, what, how are we doing air traffic control-wise? We have London Centre, London North, London West, so I don't think anyone's actually covering our position at the moment, which is good, because that means we can just YOLO straight out of here. Young uh, Squashington is doing Gatwick Tower guys so he'll actually be streaming that if you want to if you're on Twitch and you're watching guys get yourself on to Agent Squashy's stream he's, he's streaming the um, the Gatwick control tower uh, so make sure that the rotor brake is off and both throttles are selected to flight the doors are locked on both sides controls are locked and checked we'll come up and we'll do right to left Jerry one two master battery 
it's all checked on. We don't actually hit this. I'm reliably informed that in real life they don't touch this. Now I'm not sure if that's really modelled in the sim, so we'll go ahead and just try and see if we can start the aircraft without touching the hydraulics. The hydraulics are um, automatically controlled in this aircraft, so in real life they don't actually hit this switch before they start the engines. In real life, guys, believe it or not, well, the only they, they hit this switch for the first start of the day, so I might actually need to hit that because we don't. Um, the first time the aircraft started, uh, at the first start of the day, they connect up to the ground power unit, they engage the hydraulic pump, and then they start it. But in real life, guys, this aircraft is so advanced that all they do, pretty much all they do is turn on those six switches, turn the fuel pump, and, and open the fuel valves, and then just press the start button. That's li that's literally it, dude. That's how fucking good this aircraft is. Right, before we start up the engines, we'll make sure that we have the right QNH set. 1023 is active, which gives us 3020. 3041 we have set at the moment. We'll go ahead and dial up 3020. I'll just quickly ingest some protein in a second. Right, so we'll get the fuel pump on for one, fuel valve open for one, lights on, and hit the starter for one. Stable and then she goes for it. Yep, that is working. Nice one. All right, quickly drink some fucking protein. Hey, Patrick, greens from Holland, he says on Twitch. Greens from Scotland. My Dutch friend, welcome on board. Chocolate flavour, low key, that's one of my favourite parts of the day. Alright, flight on one. She looks good, we'll go for two. Seven thousand. Two's coming up. Hey, Drew, it's Helimed two seven, brother. HLE Hotel Lima Echo 27. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do our ground power checks, which is something I learned about today. I learned from a real Augusta pilot. So we go ahead and make sure that one engine's at flight, the other engine's at idle, which is what we have now. We set the rotor RPM to 102%. And it doesn't seem... Oh no, it's going now. It's just taking a little while because we only have one. We're running off one engine. And then we set the torque level to 90%. Yep, I know. Right, it really doesn't like that. All right, so it must not be modeled. It must not be modeled in X-Plane very well, so we're just going to forget about that. So in real life, they have one engine at flight, the other engine at idle. They bring the torque up to 90%, and they do a ground power check, and then they bring one engine, the other engine that was at flight, that comes back to idle. The other engine comes up to flight, and then they do the same thing. It doesn't seem to be modeled in this aircraft, though, so we'll just skip that. Hey, Gunny, probably not, brother. Hey, Fabio's joined us, another member of the Captain's Club. Good to see you, sir. Welcome on board. Oh, 
Alright, both engines are up. NG stable at 83%. Go ahead and release the parking brake. Mode Charlie is set. We're squawking 7000 for Scott's Pescuity. We're clear on the right, we are clear on the left. I hate trying to tax this thing, it's so clunky. Alright, the wind is uh, four knots from the south, it looks like. Oh, hey Rusty. Rusty on YouTube says, Mav, you will get the engine idle annunciation in the real life while carrying out the power check. Roger that. It tried to fucking take off off the ground, bro. I know in real life that the, the nose wheel should get a little bit floaty, but it definitely shouldn't take off during a power check and it tried to take off there. But thanks for the heads up, my friend. Okay, because we're going to category alpha, we'll set the brakes to on. Rotor RPM selected to 102%. These autopilots should be on, but I always have problems with these when they're on, so I might just leave these off. I know in real life these are always on though. SAS is on, AP1. Oh, there we go. AP1. AP1 is on. I'm looking for the flight director switch. Which I don't see. Let's see if it works on here. Alright, so I should get some symbology up here when I press category alpha. It's not modelled. In the, in the real aircraft, you get some, once you engage the category alpha switch, you get some symbology that comes up on the uh, PFD here for um, basically a, a flight profile to fly, and it's not giving me that. I'm definitely pressing the category alpha switch. Alright, never mind, we'll just have to skip that. Okay, category alpha departure, we'll go into the hover, we'll check what our PI is set and then we'll add 23% up to a maximum of 110% with a limit of 5 minutes. And then once we get through our TDP, we'll take the nose down to 10 degrees for 2 seconds and then put the nose forward and start flying away. Once we get through... What's that called again? Once we get through VY... We'll select the gear up, we'll take the rotor RPM back to 100% um, once we get through 70 knots. Alright, we're clear on the left, we are clear on the right, the brakes are set. Let's get the nose up. Alright, nose is up, stable. Alright, up we go. Right wheel up first. We're up, stabilise. Okay, add 23%. Back we go. PDP. PDP. Power's good, road RPM is holding. All 
Right, we're through TDP. I'm going to take the nose forward now to 10 degrees. Hold it for two seconds. And then start bringing it back up nose level. Start cleaning the aircraft up. Gear up. Through ETL. Take rotor RPM to 100% now. Now we're going to start heading south. Start trimming, start winning. Hey, Hung Stark, good to see you, brother. Oh, director is online, I didn't see him. Alright, aviate, navigate, communicate. Director, a very good evening. Helimed 27 Alpha with you. Hello, sir. We have information Foxtrot on board. We're responding to an Alpha call just south of London Gatwick. We'd like a basic service heading south, routing for the uh, M25 Junction 7 VRP. Seven zero seven four basic service one zero two two Heli made two seven alpha seven zero seven four seven zero seven four Hey Rusty C welcome along Good to see you again my friend What's up Nicholas? I'm not too good with paper airplanes sir Thank you so much for the donation, my friend. I'm watching Buster Vision. Nice one, bro. Thank you so much, dude. Hey, Arosh, welcome back. Thanks, Hayden. I will spend your money on drugs. You're goddamn right. Hey Humber, welcome along. Yeah, Orbex looks pretty good, dude. Not quite as good as Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it does look pretty good. Buster Vision, I like it. Hey Kiwi, welcome. I expect him to go to Gatwick director next. 126825. I think we already have that set. No, we don't. Alright, we're about on standby now. Oh, a Concorde. Nice. Hey, Trucker Jake, welcome back. Lee 
Louis Perkins asks, have I tried the 135 for X-Plane? I have. I didn't like it, dude. I thought the flight model was pretty shit. All the freeware aircraft, I've, all the freeware helicopters I've tried have been a huge disappointment so far. I'm really loving this 139 though. It is payware. I'm really loving this aircraft. Zero zero one two two seven alpha. Kilo one two ten right heading one eight zero degrees. Center RQ four thousand feet. You said four thousand at right uh, heading one eight. Two but two center RQ three thousand feet. Hey, jumbled up Arabic letters. Hello. Take care, Arash. See you later, Mr. Kiwi. Look after yourself. On X plane, Joel. I haven't actually flown Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 yet. I'm waiting for a full fidelity Concorde or uh, or helicopters to come out on it. So it's going to take a while. Hey Sean, welcome. Oh, so on on X plane, Joel. Like I said, dude, I haven't actually flown 2020 yet. I know the 135 on 2020 is pretty shit as well. Hey Gamer Squad, welcome. We are on our way to. Uh, we're responding to a. Uh, a road traffic collision between a cyclist and a heavy goods vehicle. 126825, 27 Alpha. Unfortunately, a cyclist has been hit by a truck, so we need to go and uh, get him to hospital. Information Foxtrot is current. Going to start slowing down. Sounds like he's busy. Gabbard Director, good evening. Hello, Med 27 Alpha. Roger sir, we are overhead Red Hill at this time, we'd like to cross the threshold north to south to respond to an alpha call just to the east of the Billinghurst VRP. Not above 1,500 feet, 1,023, routing for the overhead, LMAD 27 Alpha. Hey, Dal Green, it is my friend. I've been having a lot of trouble getting the autopilot to work though. Element 27 Alpha Radar Control Service, we have the field in sight. Element 27 Alpha Roger, contact uh, Tower 124225. 124225, cheers, 27 Alpha. And a special quick outcome, you're passing the gas. So we're a very good evening. Helium 27 Alpha at 900 feet to the north of the field for the overhead. Two six left threshold, and uh, we'll call on the south side for the south maintenance area. LMA two seven alpha, good to see you. He didn't tell me about you. Great rake. Love Hunter two two nine contact and um, Gary Director one two six seven eight two five. Love Hunter two two nine 
the GG9, I copy that over to Director Frequency 126, Dustin H25. Thanks for your help tonight. Traffic! Traffic! Massive off-road traffic! Element 2, 7 Alpha, so safe. Element 2, 7 Alpha, Roger, route to south, contact Gary Director, 126, best way, 25, bye bye. 126, 825, ciao, ciao, 27 Alpha. Climbing flight level 180, and can you repeat the direct positioning for us? Hey folks, trip over, which is Delta Victor Romeo. Hey Slayer! Thank you, sir. Appreciate you tonight. Thanks, man. Hey Sheppel, welcome on board. Just another day living a dream. Director Helimed 27 Alpha, we're back with you, sir. We're rooting for the hand cross VRP at this time. 900 feet. Helimed 27 Alpha, Roger, we're back control service. You cleared to leave the uh, gap control zone to the south here. Far, not above altitude 2000 feet. Can I try and get to the street? Don't have to Clear to leave the zone to the south here. Far, radar control service at this time. Helimed 27 Alpha, 1023. What's up, Boeing? Wagwan. <laughs> Not heard that for a while. Wagwan blood. Hey, Pilot Flea, welcome. Charlie says, Mav, I heard you on the ATC stream over on Twitch. Nice one, bro. Okay, we're just passing over the hand cross VRP very shortly, right in front of us on the right hand side. We're going to be heading about 210-200 for the incident. We've only got about five miles to go, Joe. What's the name of the place we're going to? Crabtree. I'm not sure when the next Concord stream will be, brother. Gonna be irate. Okay, the wind at the moment is seven knots off the nose right now. The incident is just in front of us. We're looking for emergency services. It should be on a road. We're responding to a cyclist that has been seriously injured after being hit by a heavy goods vehicle. So it should be pretty easy to spot. Six, three, hotel, speed, six, 
Roger that sir, basic service we have, we're just arriving on scene now, we'll call you for departure, we'll be landing shortly, 1023, Helimed 27 Alpha. 27 Alpha, thanks. Right, should be somewhere on our right hand side. Oh I see it, I see it already. There it is there. Lots of room to land down there. Alright, we'll start slowing the aircraft down, get dirtied up. Gear down now. Take a quick lap around just to have a check for any overhead um, power cables or high tension wires. We're using the UK Air Ambulance mod Aaron, which is available from charityscenery.co.uk. It's a mod that I developed to raise money for charity. It is payware. Well, it's donation wear. All the money goes directly to charity. I don't make any money from it. Only costs you a pound. Okay, the gear is down. Parking brakes are on. We're down below 90 knots, I'll take the rotor RPM to 102% now, set and checked. I don't see any high tension power cables or power lines or... Looks like this is going to be a fairly straightforward approach. My five S's for the landing zone looks good. I got my size, shape, surface, slope and suitability all checked out, looks all good. So we'll go around one more time. Wind's coming from our 7 o'clock at the moment. So we'll be landing in the field just to the offside of where the incident is, where the truck is. Trim's reset. The gear is down, rotor RPM is set, power is good. Roar RPM is holding, power is good, gears down and locked. Nose is anti wind, wind's coming slightly from the left. 150 feet, LDP. Checked, got it, land. Power is good, roar RPM is holding. Clear of the tree, I see the tree on the right hand side. Power is good. Settle any ground effect. Power is good. Road RPMs holding. Land the aircraft. Okay, we're down on the grass. Main gear's down, we'll take a wiggle of the side click to make sure we're probably down. Po probably down even. And we'll bring the nose wheel down now. Gently lower the collective. Centre the side click. Pedals. 
Roll RPM to 100% engines to idle. Hey, Christoph. Danny says, we need you back in the Arma Skies, Mav. I hear you, Danny. It should be coming pretty soon, dude. should be coming pretty soon, my friend. I've not flown in Arma for a little while. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, they have the patient on board and he is ready to fly. He has a fracture to his head and several broken ribs. We have him sedated right now so he will not feel any bumps during the flight. Try to go as fast as you can to the waiting trauma team at the hospital. Roger that. Alright, give me flight on one. Thanks, Jake. Okay, one's up and stable. Give me flight on two. Two's coming up. NG stable on two, PI stable on two. Director Helimed 27 Alpha, we're ready to lift, sir. We'd like to enter controlled airspace on track for the Royal London Hospital, routing hand cross uh, the over overhead to threshold, routing south to north, and leaving controlled airspace at the M25 Junction 7 VRP. Yes, sir, we are Class A with 0012 in the box, not above 1,500 feet VFR, and we are lifting now, Helimed 27 Alpha. Okay, rotor RPM set to 102%, the brakes are on, we're clear on the left, we're clear on the right, trim has been reset. Category Alpha switch engaged. Nose up to 7 degrees. Checked. Let's get the aircraft in the air. We're up, stabilise any ground effect. Stable. Pop the nose into wind. Power's good. Rotor RPM is holding. Let's add 23%. Back we go. Power's good. Okay, we're through PDT, nose down to 10 degrees. Wait for the aircraft to catch up, two seconds. Nose back to level. And 
Oh, lovely. Raw RPM back to 100%. Sounds like he has going to get us priority on the first one. Sounds like he is going to get us priority on the first one. Sounds like he is going to get us priority through. That's very nice. That doesn't happen very often. That doesn't happen at all. Probably going to have to go somewhere else for our second incident. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Okay, engine power is good. Raw RPM set back to 100%. The gear is up and locked. Let's get up above our minimums of 500. Start trimming, start winning. Keep its climb on, 450 feet, we just need a little bit more. 490. 500 feet. Hey, Fearless is here. Good to see you, brother. Welcome. Feels like it's been ages. We're just uh, out saving lives, my man. Hope you're well. Hope the new job's still going well. What's up, Crazy Maffin? Good to see you, sir. No, crazy. I don't know anything about the alternatives, dude. That's something you're going to have to research on your own. Helimed 27 Alpha, welcome. Hopefully, the guys in the Twitch chat can maybe help you out. Anybody got any recommendations for track IR alternatives on Twitch chat, guys? Hey, Connor. Nice, bro. I was just talking to a real. Uh, in fact, there he is. There. <laughs> What's up, brother? My man Geo87 on uh, YouTube is a real AW109 pilot. Second large pitch line is 10 degrees. It's a very dynamic profile. You'll be pitching roughly 15 total in the vertical. Roger that, my friend. Yeah, I see it, big dog. Director Helimed 27 Alpha, we have the field in sight. Helimed 27 Alpha, thanks. Continue for tower 124 at 125. 124225, cheers. 27 Alpha. Yeah, shout out to my man, uh, Geo87. Thank you so much. He very kindly gave me an hour and a half of his time. He's a real world HEMS pilot in the UK. And he very kindly gave me an hour and a half of his time this evening. Well, I was asking him loads of questions about how to operate the aircraft and. Um, what's best practice? Thank you so much, brother. I learned an awful lot, my friend. Thank you. I got all my notes here in front of me. Thanks, my man. Tower, hello again. Helimed 27 Alpha. Just left a hand cross VRP at 1,100 feet for the threshold south to north. Helimed 27 Alpha, character. Hello. Uh, hold at the South Maintenance area, it should be around two minutes. Hold at the South Maintenance area, Helimed 27 Alpha. Hey, Darren's here, good to see you, brother. What's up, Raptor? Hi. 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 Hold down for 
Traffic. Traffic. All right, you should be away by now. Yep, there he is. All right, let's go, go, go. Places to be. Element 27 Alpha, north side routing for the M25, junction 7 VRP. Element 27 Alpha, thank you. Contact Gary Director, 126825, bye bye. 126825, cheers again, Alex, thanks. Element 27 Alpha, bye bye. You should see this setup when you've landed. It looks very good, I've seen it earlier on, well done. Director, hello again, Helimed 27 Alpha, north side ring for the M25 Junction 7 VRP with Foxtrot 1023. Helimed 27 Alpha, you are clear to leave the uh, Gap Control Zone at 2 North VFR, mobile altitude 2000, speak clear to 1023. Retro 8070 is not reported active tonight. Clear to leave to the north VFR, not above 2000 feet, 1023, and that's all received, thanks, Helimed 27 Alpha. In real life, a situation like this would have been, would have priority commercial airlines or the heli the helimeds would have had priority in real life, uh, Raptor. It doesn't really work like this, that on Vatsim, however. But in real life, the commercial guys would have to wait for the helicopter to transit over the airfield. Hey, Danny, welcome. It's odd seeing where you grew up from above, yeah. I know the Microsoft Flight Simulator is really good for that. Hey firm sir, we'll be routing from the M25 Junction 7 VRP direct for the Royal London Hospital, 27 Alpha. Hey Tim, welcome. Hey Sam Gore, I'm assuming... I assume that you learned a long time ago about any resources for learning helicopter flight. Uh, YouTube's your friend, sir. But really, helicopters just take a lot of practice on your own, so I wouldn't try and do it online on Vatsim. I would just get online on single player, my friend, and just see how you get on. It takes a lot more hand-to-eye coordination to fly helicopters than it does to fly fixed wings, so be prepared to not be very good at it when you start off, but... It's a very, it's, it's the most rewarding flying I think you can do. Because it is so much more challenging than fixed wing. It's very rewarding. But yeah, YouTube's your friend, uh, buddy, Sam. Get yourself on to YouTube and type in helicopter flying tutorial, Vatsim or X-Plane, something like that. You'll work it out, bro. You're a smart guy. You'll work it out. Hey, Zorio, good to see you, brother. Another YouTube sponsor has joined us, my man Zorio HD signing in. Another member of the Captain's Club. Good to see you, sir. Here we go, guys, straight from the horse's mouth. A real rescue helicopter pilot on uh, YouTube says... In real life, the Helimed suffix Alpha will get you ATC to help you lots, but it doesn't guarantee priority over commercial traffic. We'd regularly have to hold it, Gatwick, and wait to cross. There you go, guys. Straight from a real-world professional. Alright, all set. 
Oh yeah, thank you. This controller is a really nice guy. He's helping out a lot of people. I'm not a pilot in real life, big bad chopper, no. I'm just a proud desktop professional, sir. It's not actually smoke or an oil leak, guys. It's a wingtip vortex effect that X-Plane has in. It's not that great. One one nine seven two five. Thanks for all your help, sir. Helen made two seven alpha. Ciao, ciao. You're welcome, mate. Take care. Golf. Director, hello again, sir. Helimed 27 Alpha with Golf for the Royal London Hospital. Helimed 27 Alpha, he's for hello, you clear to enter the London City Control Zone. Uh, Director of the Royal London Hospital, love of our tube 1005, which are VFR QNH 1026. Clear to enter the London City Control Zone, not above 1500 feet VFR 1026. Helimed 27 Alpha. Correction, 1022, 27 Alpha. 027 Alpha, correct. Right, what's that going to give me? 3021. Yeah, it's just a wingtip vortex effect, guys. See, coming off the tips. Just the tip, guys. Just the tip. Traffic. Traffic. Massive fucking traffic. You got it, Chopper. You got it, buddy. We do have a patient in the aircraft, uh, the aircraft gamer we do, bro, yeah. We're taking the patient to the hospital. It's just in front of us. We can actually see it from here. That's a the hospital there, that blue building. Hey, Zorio. Uh, yeah, it's a Fitbit watch, bro. Tracks my heart rate and it's got a pedometer on it and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, everything was fine, Fra. Thank you, buddy. Just had to go back to work, dude. But everything was fine. Thank you. Director 27 Alpha, we have the Royal London Hospital in sight. Can we have a wind check for City, please? Alright, going to start slowing the aircraft down now. It's just about two miles to go. Gear down. Okay, the wind's coming from behind us at basically our 7 o'clock position, so I'm going to fly slightly past the hospital with a big left-hand turn, and then we're going to approach with a, a big offset with a, so the nose is in the wind.
Okay, 100 knots. The gear is down. Trim reset. Coming up for 90 knots now. 90 knots. Less. Rotor RPM selected to 102%. Start this left hand turn now. The gear is down. Free greens, I see it. Power's good. Fifty six knots. Foxtrot one, the left hand to four two. Left hand to two four eight zero. Roger left on the Bravo stand two two six. Left on the Bravo stand two two six. Left hand to two four eight zero. Thank you. Good visual on the pad, power's good, rotor RPM is set, trim has been reset, the gear is down three greens. The nose is into wind now. Power's good. Good forward trend. Right pedal's coming in. Rotor RPM is holding at 102%. We're going to start squaring up onto the pad now. Get ready for ground effect. Power's good. Stabilize. Land. Touching down. Main gear down. Gently lower the collective. Get the nose wheel down. The brakes are on. Center the side click. Neutral the pedals. Rotor RPM to 100%. Engine set idle. Touch it down. All right, the first one done. Nice one, thanks Geo. Thank you very much, brother. Nothing better than when someone that fucking flies the aircraft in real life tells you you're doing a good job. Thank you very much, my man. Okay, the trauma team is admitting the patient now for surgery. Well done, Captain. You have saved this young man's life today. You're goddamn right. Right, we'll go to a ground hospital next. We'll go to the Queen's Hospital. X-ray 135. So we'll pop that in here. X-135. The Queen's Hospital in London. Let's see where we're going. A female's had a heart attack. Let's see what it is first. Ah, it's a way out to the southeast where there's no air traffic control. So we're going to cancel that one. I'll set the set course option. We're going to look for a incident between... 250 and 270. We want the minimum distance to be 20 miles. We'll do maximum distance 25 miles. We'll see where that takes us. Oh, very close to Windsor. This is going to be a tricky one to get to with the uh, Heathrow traffic. We might not even be able to get in here. Let me show you where it is, guys. Hold on. Hey, Carl Hughes is here. Good to see you, Carl. Let's get that link in. I love this guy. My man Carl Hughes on um, YouTube is a 
a sponsor of the channel, not only is a sponsor of my channel, he started the virtual air ambulance service. Where is it? Virtual air ambulance service. Let's get a link for them. God damn it, why is it so hard to get a feckin' link? Here we go. Check out this link, guys. My man Carl started the virtual air ambulance service. It looks baller as fuck. So if you like what you see and you want some more of it, but you want to ramp up your participation with other like-minded people, guys, check out the virtual air ambulance service. They're doing good things. Hey, thanks, Captain Twelve Tooth, T Timmy Twelve Teeth. Hey, Bruno. Uh, Geo says, get that full ten degrees nose down in two seconds on departure. Hold for two seconds, then back wings level. It's a proper fast pitch change, Roger. That we'll try it this time, dude. Right, an overturned heavy... Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys where this incident was. This is going to be a bit of a mission to get into, guys. So look, there's Heathrow Airport. That's where our mission is there, look. So let's find out what runway these guys are using. Runway in use is 27 right, single runway ops. Oh, let me do that. So they're using this runway. Using this runway here, heading out that way. And a while lads here. Oh no. I'm actually just getting a message from the controller. I think he's watching the stream. I'm just coordinating with him now on text. Right guys, just liaising with the controller to get the route sorted out. So go ahead and accept this mission. It's a heavy goods vehicle that's rolled on its side while trying to avoid a pedestrian. I'll show you the route that we're going to take. So we are here, pretty much, Where's where are we? We're here. We're going to be heading westbound on Hotel 4. We're going to join Hotel 3. We're going to stay on Hotel 3 until we get to Thorpe. From Thorpe, we're going to go to the M25 Junction 13 VRP. And then from there, we're going to head out northwest to roughly here is where our incident is, in a place called Windsor. You guys have had your brief. Let's get this puppy in the air.
Right, let's get some power up in this bitch. Hotel is current. And two. Director, hello again. Hello, man. Two seven alpha. Hello, sir. Uh, we are with you at the Royal London Hospital. We're responding to an alpha call at Windsor. We'd like to enter controlled airspace westbound on Hotel Four to join Hotel Free, leaving Hotel Free at Fort for the M25 Junction 7 VRP and then onward to Windsor. Westbound Hotel 4, Hotel 3 to Forp, then AM25 Junction 13 VRP 1022 and squawking ident now. We are lifting at this time. LMN27 Alpha. LMN27, Roger, identify radar control service. LMN27 Alpha, radar control service. Okay, brakes are on. Rotor RPM selected 102%. Trim reset, clear on the left, clear on the right. Let's go. The mission has been accepted. The wind's coming from the left at about 20 deg uh, 15 degrees. So we'll get up into ground effect, get the nose into wind. The nose is coming up. Whoa, that feels something's wrong with that. That feels wrong. There we go, that feels better. Alright, nose up. And we'll get up into ground effect. Right side up first, we're up, stabilise. Bring the nose into wind, don't hit the ground crew Maverick. Okay, nose is into wind, stable, power's holding. At 23%. Back we go. PDT, we are good, power's good, rotor RPM's holding. PDP, we'll go for this 10 degrees in two seconds now. Here we go. Ah, oh, it wasn't really fast enough. Hold for two seconds. Back up. Ah, uh, definitely need a bit more practice at that. But we are flying away. Okay, gear up. Rotor RPM back down 100%, start trimming. Geo says, it's a bit of an odd cyclic move movement, you'll get used to it soon enough. Yeah, that's going to take a bit of practice, definitely, bro. Especially because I have to manipulate the pedals with the uh, cyclic hand as well. I'll get there, though. I'll just take a wee bit of practice. Alright, the gear's up. Road RPM is set. Alright, we're at 650 feet.
Did I watch the profile video? Yes! I left a comment and everything, my man. Great flying, brother. Great flying. You can really hear those engine failures. I was surprised at how quickly she reacts as well. There's a London City heliport, guys. You can get that from charityscenery.co.uk. Okay, we're leaving Hotel 4 for Hotel 3. We're heading from Barnes to Fulham now. LMA27 Alpha, Barnes for Hotel 3. Carl Casey on YouTube says, what's that thing on your head? Surprised you don't recognise it, Carl. It's your mum's pants, bro. Alright, inbound for Richmond. Hey Shad, thanks brother. Hello to Cargo Lux, welcome back sir, it's been a while. Alright, Richmond towards Teddington and then heading down to the Sunbury Lock. Yes. Hey, Black Spark, welcome. How often do I do this on here, asked Shad on YouTube. Ah, I don't have any regular streaming schedule or anything bro, just whenever really I feel, whenever I have time and I feel like it. I'm a bit of a sensitive princess, my friend. So I have to feel young, strong and beautiful before I stream, so. I definitely don't do it every day. Sometimes I'm having a fat and ugly day, bro. I don't want to stream. I'm not a full-time streamer or anything like that, I just do it to, uh have fun and share my flying content. Hello to Sa what? This guy's got a great name. Santiago Caballero Ailman. Hola senor. Welcome. What's up to 1BLB88? Welcome brother. First time joining the stream. Thanks man. I got loads of these videos on my YouTube chat. If you enjoy watching bro, and I'm not live, you can just click on the uh, YouTube channel. Bro, make sure you subscribe. I got loads of these streams on there, brother.
the Seafood Airport right there, guys. Thanks, Chad. Gio, I've got to be off. Good luck with the profiles and enjoy me. Thank you again so much for your time, Gio. Really enjoyed that chat today, sir. Thank you again. I hope we speak to you again very soon. Enjoy your sleep. Alright, now we follow this road to Forp. It's an Augusta 139, brother, not a 169. That's the second time that guy's just said requesting. What's up, Big Mac? Welcome back. M25. Not above 1000, Roger that, sir. We're just leaving Hotel 3 now for the uh, Junction 13 VRP, and then we'll be heading northwest bound for Windsor, 27 Alpha. Wreck did his first VATSIM helicopter flight yesterday. Nice one, bro. That video you sent me was fucking epic, dude. We're with Heathrow Director right now, Charlie. There's Heathrow right there, look. That's all part of the process, Rick. Making mistakes and learning. All right, there's the Junction 13 VRP right there. We're just going to start coming left. We've already been to Gatwick Tower, dude. We've already. We, that was our first incident. We flew over Gatwick. Uh, it's listed actually in the stream description, Carl. If you click on show more just under the stream, you can read all about that, dude. Not really, Anchor Jam, no. Not really, my friend. Okay, 18 minutes to find this casually. We 
we get on the ground, I need to hop out the aircraft and go and do a pee on a tree. Alright, we're roughly two miles out. I'm going to start slowing down. We're below 140, so I can bring the gear down now. The brakes are on and set. That's Windsor on the right hand side. We're looking for a heavy goods vehicle that has rolled on its side. Shouldn't be too difficult to find. I should imagine. Okay, gears down and locked. Oh, I see it, I see it right there, look. Looks like an interesting landing, uh, landing zone. Alright, let's go around and have a little scout out of this. Okay, down below 90 knots, rotor RPM to 102%. Director Heliman 27 Alpha, we're arriving on scene and we'll be landing shortly, sir. We'll call you for departure. 27 Alpha. Alright, power's good, road RPM is set, the gear is down and locked, the gear, the brakes are on. The nose is into wind now, so it's going to be an interesting approach angle. Don't see any high tension power lines, but there's certainly a lot of trees and poles and things that we could hit. Not so good. Alright, 65 knots. It's a little bit blustery up here. Power's good, road RPM is set. Alright, I can see it. We're down for ETL now. Oh, a big gusty wind there. Right, I think we're going to be landing on this side. I'm just going to bring the aircraft into a hover and have a little perusal. Power's good, road RPM is set. Right, I think in there is going to be good. Just on this side of the ambulance, I can see the tree on the right, the small tree. Quite a bit of glare on the windscreen, which is messing up my... Uh, view just in front of us to the right, but I can see there is trees down there. I see the trees on the left. Right, well, let's get in there. Power's good, road RPM is set, gear is down free green, so brakes are on. Good forward trend. I see the trees on the left, I'm going to clear those. I'm going to land in between this. The glare on the screen is making it really difficult to see the... Uh, I don't want to cheat and stick my head out the window. I'm just going to take my time. In fact, what about the road? Yeah, dude, fuck it, land on the road. I see the pole.
Alright, we're not going to get the full aircraft on the road because we're going to end up hitting the ro main rotor off a tree or a pole, so... We're going to just land half on, half off. Alright, clear on the left, clear on the right. We can get a little bit closer here. Where's that tree? I see it right there. Creep up a little bit. Alright, that'll do. We don't want to get too close. Alright, land the aircraft. Alright, we're down. We're on an uneven surface, so I'm going to wiggle the side click just to make sure we're properly down. We are down and on. Gently lower the collective, get the nose wheel on the ground. Rotor RPM to 100%, engines to idle. Alright, I'll be right back. Shut up, Carl, you fucking hating little shit. Nobody gives a fuck about you, Carl. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, some fucking little virgin Carl that lives with his mum trying to give me shit, bro. Carl, you couldn't fucking do this, you little dweeb. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, Carl. No one, no one's interested in anything you've got to say, princess, alright? No one gives a fuck about little virgins that live with their mum, alright? So stop trying, to, stop trying to give a grown man shit, you little fucking dork, alright? Go and play Fortnite, you little fuck. How does that sound? Yeah, no one cares if you're joking, bro. No one gives a fuck about you, sweetheart. In fact, see you later, son. Go and, go and fucking play... Go and play fucking Roblox, bro. Go and fucking play... Bro. Go and fly something on Roblox, mate. Okay, 7892, Thanks, guys. Holy shit, when did the traffic come back on the road? <laughs> Alright. In real life, they would have landed here. This is where they would have landed in real life, but because the way that the mod works, guys, I have to land pretty close to the accident so that the the patient uh, it triggers that we have landed near the area and the patient gets on board. But yeah, in real life, they wouldn't have landed as close as I'd land. I've landed there. We probably could have got on the road, actually. We would have been a bit close to that pole. But I think we took the safer option and landed um, one on, one off there. Carl's real name is Karen. I can fucking believe that, dude. I hate that. I hate little hypercritical fucks like that. Never mind. Right, are we ready to go? The patient is safely on board and ready to fly. Get to the hospital as quickly as possible. A trauma team is standing by waiting for our arrival. Alright, I need to remember that we're going to the Queen's Hospital, not the Royal London Hospital. Alright, 
Let's have a quick look. So this is where we're going. We're going to this one this time, guys. Normally we go to the Royal London Hospital, which is the rooftop one. So we're basically going all the way over to the other side of London now. Alright, flight on one. Hey Shan, I haven't, dude, no. It takes a bit of practice, Rick. People are asking me on YouTube, what's the mod called? It's called the UK Air Ambulance mod, guys. You can get it from the charityscenery.co.uk website. I'll put the link in both YouTube and Twitch. Alright, both engines are up. Stable at 83%. Clear on the left, clear on the right. We'll take the rotor RPM to 102%. Set and checked. We're going to be coming back into the left out that way. Patient is on board. Let's check in with air traffic control. Director Helimed 27 Alpha. Hello, sir. We're ready to lift from Windsor with information hotel routing for the Queen's Hospital via with entry to Hotel 3 at Fort. Hotel 3 eastbound to Hotel 4, Hotel 4 to the Queen's Hospital. Air Tenta controlled airspace on track 4 for Hotel 3, Hotel 4, eastbound, not above 1,500 feet. QNH 1022 VFR 427 Alpha, we are lifting now. 27 Alpha, correct, we're breaking speed with 215, right heading 24, 0 degrees. <coughs> localized with establish 27 right, December the glide. Right, road RPM is set, we're ready to go. Brakes are on. Category Alpha switch is engaged, nose up. Let's get the aircraft up. Okay, we're in the air. Stabilize. Power's good, RPM is holding. At 23%. Back we go. Power's good. Alright, nose forward. Well, that manoeuvre is definitely going to take a lot of practice. Okay, gear up. Rotor RPM back to 100%. Gears up and locked. Rotor RPM is reset to 100%. Power is good. We're trimming and we are flying away. Yeah, Danny. Hey, Matt Grendel's showing us. I have to put a piece of tape on my monitor so I can't see you mushing forward to add power. Pushing forward to add power. Yeah! As a real helicopter pilot, bro, I'm sure that's hitting your OCD box. Sorry, man, it's just because I got so much muscle memory from flying the fixed wing aircraft. It, the thought never even occurred to me, Mac, to set it up um, like a real helicopter. Good to see you, sir. 
Thank you for your continued support. Mac is a member, of my, he's a sponsor of my YouTube channel at the highest level at the Concord Captain's Club. An absolute privilege to have you with us, sir. Welcome on board. Good to see you. I hope you're well. That Kiowa's coming soon, brother. I want that check ride. Hey Neil, thanks man, oh shit. Diving for the day. I'm not really looking forward to the MI24 dude, I'm looking forward to the Kiowa and the Apache. Max says, you're doing good work, looking forward to the Kiowa, but I'll be practically learning it from new, being nearly two decades since I flew one. I'm sure you'll pick it up, bro. A trained professional like you, Max. You'll be all over that, dude. You'll be all over it. It'll be like riding a bike. I'm sure it'll all come flooding back, dude. I'm looking forward to learning from you, my man. I'm looking forward to it. What's up, Mace, you fucking buster? Hey, slow reader, good evening. Carl's asking, where did I get my VRP info? I have it all on little nav map, dude. So if you go to um, Google and type in um, little nav map UK VRPs, you should be able to find it. So you see I've downloaded a, basically an add-on and it puts all the VRPs in for me. Yeah, it's very handy, dude. It is very handy. I'm always on VATS and MACE. Always, dude. Yeah, Anchor Jam. I'm part of the charity scenery team. I actually created this mod. This the UK Air Ambulance mod, dude. I made it. Trying to raise as much money as possible for um, charity. All the money goes to Air Ambulance charities in the UK. So we're doing good things, bro. We're doing good things. Hey, Reaper. Queen's Hospital in the lovely dodgy area of Romford. Full of carrot-looking women. <laughs> With her fake tans. I hear you, brother. Um, they're sadly not, uh, sadly not, brother Anchor, no, it's just for explain, sorry dude. 
We do have scenery on the website for prepared, but this particular mod only works on um, X plane. Okay, we're in the Augusta 139, a.k.a. the Leonardo 139. Stand 5-1, we're on Alpha, 2-2-1-5. 7-8-9-2, expect stand 3-0-3 left. Stand 0-3-0, left for Lucas 79. Alright, so 3-0-3 left. 3-0-3 left, Lucas 79. 3-0-3 left, I'm sure the guy said. Mary D says hello, says Rick. Roger that. Tell her I said hello, young lady. And that I said she's a goddamn buster. How's the weather up in Michigan, Rick? Is it getting warmer? I don't think the Merlin's in the game, Mace. No, that's actually one of my favourite helicopters in real life. The EH 101 Merlin. It's a different Carl Anchor, yeah. We've got two Carls on YouTube. One's an absolute legend. The other one's an absolute fucking twat. Good night, Darren. Thanks, brother. Enjoy your sleep when it comes, my friend. You've been on one? Nice one. I've been inside one in an air show as well, dude. I've never been on one in the air. But I've also been on one in an air show. Big aircraft. We should be on the ground in about five minutes. Slow reader. Shut up, Carl. <laughs> Where's Carl? Alright, we're actually going to a hospital I don't know very well. Helimed 27 Alpha Barnes for the Queen's Hospital. It is paywear, Lawrence, yeah, but it only costs a pound. It's donation wear, dude. So all the money raised goes to charity. Hearing 112, descend flight level 70, speed 220 knots. Check it out in the shop. It's called the UK Air Ambulance Mod. Nice one, hung star. Hey, what's up to 104 Cadet Raccoon? God damn it, bro. That looks good. That looks real good, brother. Good to see you. 104 Cadet Raccoon. God damn it. How did that happen, bro? Welcome to the family, son. Pleasure to have you with us, brother. One of my sponsors from YouTube, Raccoon, actually got accepted into the 104 squadron for uh, flight training. Congratulations to you, brother.
Alright, there's the hospital that we normally land at. Hey, Harwaz, sorry brother, good evening to you. Sorry, did I almost miss your comment there? Yeah, it's good news. Max said, just popped a few dollars to them, haven't had X-Plane installed for a while, which version am I on? Oh, dude, I couldn't even tell you, I couldn't even tell you, dude, the latest one, Mac. The latest um, public version, my friend. I have it on Steam. Oh, you mean like which X-Plane? Yeah, X-Plane 11, brother, I know that much. I couldn't tell you which, um like revision it is but I know it's x plane 11 sir ah Sawyer says the latest is 11.52 thanks brother alright we don't have far to go Apparently we're going to Romford. Hey Robbie, after a day of flying lessons for his PPL, you're enjoying the stream? Nice one bro! I hope your um, flying lessons went well. Hope the weather was nice for you. Right, going to start slowing down. Hospital's just in front of us. See if I can see it. I don't know this area very well. I don't see it. I just know that it's up here somewhere. Alright, gear down, please. Hello to your face, welcome. Yes, Rec, as soon as the lockdown's lifted, bro, I'm going to get into that. Oh, that would never happen, Raptor. <laughs> but yeah, if, so if someone offered to give me £150,000 to get my training done, then yeah, I'll take it. But you don't just get offered a job, bro. Where's this fucking hospital at? It should be somewhere on the right hand side. That might be it there, actually. Yeah, that's it there. Yeah, that is it. I remember. I've landed here once before. That's the hospital. The helipad is on the east side. Alright, the gear is down.
Fuck the 737, miss. Alright, we're below 90 knots. Basic service, we're landing at this time at the Queen's Hospital, sir, 27 Alpha. Alright, rotor RPM set to 102% check. Gears down, free greens. I see the helipad. I think I see the helipad anyway. Alright, the wind is coming from our 3 o'clock. My joystick's a little twitchy, which is why we're bobbing around with this. Right, trim reset, the gear is down, rotor RPM is set to 102%. Is that the helipad? That is the helipad. Alright, the nose is in the wind now, so we're going to have to be crabbing it in. Power set. Good forward trend. Rotor RPM is holding. Three greens. Brakes are set. Power's good, Roar RPM is holding. That didn't sound like that went well. Okay, settle on the ground effect and land the aircraft. Alright, main gear is down. Let's get the nose wheel down. Collective, gently lowered. Centre the cyclic, neutral the pedals. Rotor RPM to 100%, engines to idle. I'm actually not sure, Mac. Total, total honesty, bro, I'm not sure. Let me get off this radio channel for a second. Nick on YouTube says, Paramotors are fun. I have done it a few times at the training centre locally. It's scary. You are in a flying racing seat with a fan on your back. And a faulty parachute, but it was a blast. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Nick. I really am looking forward to when the lockdown gets properly lifted here. I'm supposed to start my paragliding training in February, but because of the lockdown, I couldn't do it. So I'm basically just waiting for all the restrictions to uh, get lifted, and then I'm going to start my pilot training from that. Thanks, Herwes. Thank you, my friend. You've missed you've missed 90% of the stream. Uh, t YouTube is preferred, Mace, but wh whatever's good for you, my brother. Whatever's good for you. Right, patient should be offloaded now. Yep. Another one delivered. Great work. The trauma team will take care of the patient from here. Roger that. Alright, let's get back to the London City Heliport. And then I'm going to go and... Uh, watch a documentary about ancient Egypt and go to bed.
He found me on the stream. Hayden. I got a lot of real pilots contacting me, dude. I've trained with real world F-14 Tomcat pilots, real world F-18 Hornet pilots, uh, real world helicopter pilots, real world airline pilots. I got a lot of real world uh, military and civilian pilots reaching out to me. Makes me feel young, strong and confident. Uh, yes, Doom. Once once helicopters come to 2020, they're, we're hoping they're to get the mod ported over to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, my friend. Waiting for this guy to read back. Just some fucking moron looking for attention. We'll just get we'll just get rid of him, shall we? Helimed two seven echo. Helimed two seven echo. He saw direct to hello. Pass your message. Hello, sir. We are ready to lift from the Queen's Hospital. Would like to route into controlled airspace westbound on Hotel Four for the London City Heliport. Antenna controlled airspace westbound on Hotel 4, 1023 and we have ident for you now sir and sorry just to confirm it's for the London heliport not the London city heliport as I incorrectly said. London heliport westbound Hotel 4, Hot Helimed 27 Echo we are lifting now. Alright, brakes are set, roar RPM is set to 102%, we're clear on the left, we're clear on the right, trim has been reset, let's go. Alright, nose is up. Let's get in the air. We're airborne, stabilising the ground effect, power's good, roar RPM is holding. Back and right. Continue. Two seven echo basic service. Okay, power's good. We're through ETL, rotor RPM back to 100%, gear's coming up. I don't plane spot or no. I'm waiting for proper payware helicopters to come out on 2020 before I start flying them. Right, not long ago. 27 Echo, radar control service. 27 Echo, radar control service. A 
Oh, come on, Trim. Stop being such a fucking bitch. Here we go. I really need to get a new uh, 3D Pro. This one's on its last legs. Uh, yes, Blanos, Barsi is innocent. Good old bats. Uh, I don't want a purple neck. I'm happy with the Logitech joysticks. I'm just going to get a new 3D Pro. Oh, nice one, Rick. I just got Meredith a 3D Pro a few weeks ago. Price was right. May still be good. Thanks, man. Welcome to the 3D Pro Army. Or welcome Meredith to the 3D Pro Army. Shut up, Maverick, you dumb fuck. Maverick, I got bad news for you, son. My man Maverick on uh, you, uh, Twitch says you need to get a real stick. Good lord. Bro, I'm a hundred times better the pilot you will ever be and my joystick costs 40 bucks bro and I'll shit all over you and your $500 hotas or whatever it is you've got Maverick sorry bro I'm better than you dude and my joystick costs 40 bucks feels bad for you bro feels real bad for you I am not scared at all, bro. <laughs> I've been flying in DCS for more than 11 years, sweetheart. Come on, Mav. I got a fucking sign on my desk that says I'm a fucking professional, bro. What more proof do you need, dude? You seem like a nice guy. Hey, Space City, thanks, man. Mav says, you know me, you just don't know it. Uh, I bet you, I, I can guarantee you one thing, bro. I bet you I've shot you down way more than you've shot me down. And I don't even know who you are, bro. How do you like those apples? And with a $40 joystick, my brother. So no, you're wrong. I don't need a new joystick, do I, sir? But thanks, thanks for not being a bad guy, Maverick. You seem like a nice guy. I don't even need to know who you are, sir. All I know is that whoever you are, I bet you I've shot you down way more than you shot me down. Oh, Hayden, no, he's actually, Hayden says, please ask the troll on Twitch to come on to YouTube. 
He's actually been quite cool. He's been a good guy. I just got a lot of guys like him that have expensive HOTAS joysticks and they think that I need to get one as well and it's like, come on man, I'm just as good as you are and my joystick costs 40 bucks. But he's okay dude, he's alright. I couldn't change Maverick, I couldn't, even if someone gave me a Warthog, a Thrustmaster Warthog, I would give it away as a prize bro, I couldn't change my setup, I love it man, I've been flying with this joystick for like 22 years my man, it's just such a comfortable setup as well, it's the way it sits on my desk, it's at the perfect height for my hands as well and I absolutely love it dude, I wouldn't change it for the world my friend, I would not change it. I switched from a 3D Pro to a Warthog and it's life changing, says Mav. Roger that, dude. I'm glad you enjoy it. I've already tried it, Maverick. I've already flown with one. I've already flown with one, bro. I know they're great joysticks. My point is, my setup is very comfortable for me. And it's not as if I, uh, do you know what I mean? It's not as if I'm a bad pilot and I need to get better hardware so that I can be better. I'm just as good as the best pilots in the community, my friend. And my joystick costs 40 bucks. Total disclosure, bro, I've, I've tried all the joysticks. All right, gears down, rotor RPM to 102%. Trim has been reset, the brakes are on. But yeah, you don't need to tell me, brother. I, I know the Warthog's a fantastic piece of kit. It's just not for me, my friend. Power's good, roar RPM's holding, gears down, free greens. Stable on ground effect, land aircraft. Any time now, bro. Touching down. Alright, we are down. Welcome to the London heliport, guys. Park and brake release, nose wheel unlocked. Hong Kong, fucking hell. Guys heading out to fly some rubber dog shits. Director Heliman 27 Echo, we've touched down at the London Heliport. Thanks for all your help this evening, sir. Great job. We'll see you next time. Oh, oh. I hate taxing this thing, it's so clunky. Oh, 
Oh. Right, well, we'll check out that replay, guys. We'll have a quick rewind. This has got a long stream, guys. How long we've we been flying? Two and a bit hours. It's quite a long when you're fucking hand flying the whole time. Hey, Meredith, good to see you, sister. Lewis got a 3D Pro today, nice one. Yeah, welcome to the 3D Pro Army, eh, Meredith. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, Mac, I might get rudder pedals one day. Mace didn't know that I've been... I don't have rudder pedals, Mace. What the fuck have you been smoking, bro? You've been watching my stream for like two years, dude. Fucking tells you under the FAQ. No, I don't have rudder pedals. I use the joystick for the... No one's calling you a bad pilot, you arrogant fuck, says Maverick. Ah, I can't... Can't argue with that, bro. I'm an arrogant fucking narcissist. With a borderline personality disorder and a confirmed anger management problem. I hear you loud and clear, Mav. I hear you loud and clear, brother. Awesome, awesome, right guys, thank you so much for, cheers mates, thank you so much for watching, thank you my friends. Uh, when am I going to be streaming next? God damn it, Bob Saget guys, i got to go and drive trucks tomorrow unfortunately, i got to go to my real fucking job, god damn it. Play the sad song someone, is it this one? So uh, I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow guys, I am working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm playing golf on Friday so I definitely won't have time on Friday. I'll try and squeeze in a stream on Thursday. i got to go to the gym tomorrow before work and then I am uh, 
I'll try and make some time on Thursday to do a bit of a quick stream. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. Going to be a bit controversial here, guys. Thanks again. Sorry, before we get controversial, thank you to Hayden Robbins again for another donation, brother. I will spend your money on drugs. Okay, the hell of a drug. So a bit we're going to get into controversial territory here, guys, okay? Don't get upset here when I say this, all right? But fuck all the new followers on Twitch. Fuck all the new subscribers on YouTube. I want to say a big thank you to all the old followers on Twitch. All the old subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you for coming stream after stream after stream and supporting me. I know that I'm an arrogant narcissist. Guys, I understand, all right? I would not like me either, all right? So I really appreciate that you guys watch. I mean, spare a thought for me. I got to fucking live with this guy 24 hours a day. So uh, thank you so much for uh, stopping by stream after stream and supporting me, guys. It's, uh, it really does mean an awful lot to me, despite being an arrogant asshole. It really, do it really does touch me in the feels, bro. <laughs> that you guys enjoy watching so much that you come back all the time. Thank you so much. So I will see you next time. I'm going to go out in the street, punch an old lady in the face, and then go and cry in a dark place for 20 or 30 minutes. And I will see you guys on the next one. Top Gun and Volleyball, guys. Look after yourself. I am not... Scott Manley, fly safe. Oh yeah, visit the charity website, you fucking buster. <laughs>